Hello, I'm Christopher Caliendo. I'm the composer of Natural Selection. This film concept promo masterfully blends the elegance of Pride and Prejudice with the adventure of Jurassic Park. Our visionary director, Alessandro Chile, transformed this concept into reality. I first met Alessandro at the Phoenix Film Festival where he shared his artistic vision with me as a grand orchestral palette with live strings on an extremely modest budget. So my first challenge as a composer was evident, it was clear. How am I gonna transform his vision into life? So this documentary is a lens, it's an inside look into our creative journey and how my team succeeded. I first reached out to Clark Rigsby whose expertise in recording string musicians was invaluable to us. Hi, my name is Clark Rixby, owner of Tempest Recording, which we recorded here today. I met Christopher some time ago and loved his writing. So today we did uh, some strings from ASU, which was really fun and just cleaned it up and it's great. Great to do some work. And what's your process? Do you see a lot of equipment here, Clark? Yeah, I mean, my system that we use today for these strings is I, I used a decatree, even though it's a small room with DPAs, uh, mics, which are great mics. It, typically, when I go out and do classical sessions, that would be the decatree that I would use. And then um, through Grace preamps, which is great, and Pro Tools. And so it's the decatree is three mics, of course. So if we just uh, soloed this set. Uh, you would see basically left, right, and the center, left, center, and right, and that's what we've got going here, you know. The energy was infectious as we collaborated with talented graduate and doctoral students from ASU's music department. They were eager to seize the opportunity to record a film score and their passion elevated the project. In my home studio, the brilliant Jeff Cuomo enriched the score with his clarinet and bass clarinet, adding depth and nuance, while Kristen Caliendo's piccolo and flute tracks provided both delicate and dramatic layers to our soundtrack. Zach Clark performed the solo cello lines you hear, sculpted to embody the mysterious island and the siren's beckoning call. Alongside these talents, 85 MIDI tracks from virtual libraries helped shape the sound that met Alessandro's vision. Our collaborative journey was an adventure, breathing orchestral life into the film despite formidable constraints. And finally, Mark Kiefner from Waymo Music mixed the recordings in Los Angeles, adding polish and immersiveness vital to the film's grand vision. Thank you, Christopher. You know, when you called me to do this project, I was particularly excited about the fact that we are going to be using live instruments. The first words that came to mind were smoke and mirrors, Although we would be recording everything in separate sessions and mixing the live elements with virtual or sampled instruments, we could create the impression and the illusion that everything was recorded at the same time in the same room. Previously, when we recorded silent movie scores with a large orchestra, we worked at Capitol Studios in Hollywood. So the goal was to get as close to that sound as possible. I do have an emulator plug-in that utilizes the actual chambers and plate reverbs at Capitol Studio, so that was helpful. Another useful element was that I had the separate audio tracks of the dialogue and the sound effects. So rather than mixing the score on its own, I was able to reference those tracks, keeping the blend of all the sonic elements in mind. Ultimately, there were 100 plus tracks of live and virtual instruments, and the end result was a sweeping soundscape that truly supports the very high quality of the visual material. What you will be hearing now is a reference stereo mix. Ultimately, the final will be mixed in surround sound for a truly immersive experience. I also provided Alessandro with a number of separate audio groups of instruments with and without the room reverb elements to maximize mixing options. Along with a stereo mix, there were separate mix stems of brass, strings, woodwind, percussion, etc. 
So he would have the option to place them in different three-dimensional areas of the listening space. Creating the Natural Selection soundtrack was a testament to creativity and resourcefulness. I invite you now to watch the six-minute promo where all these elements come together and immerse yourself in the world of Darwin, Arabella, and friends and the music that guides the narrative. They were the kings before kings. Beasts that ruled the world millions of years ago. We've just discovered. I believe there is an island that time forgot. I've always believed that life was meant to be more grand. Uncharted waters far east, and monsters pass and make the ground shake. Where we may find them once more, if it be an adventure. Just think of it as a hollow. Right here. my whole life. These beasts are no worse. I can't understand what drives you to be so reckless in the face of death. You'd be amazed what you're capable of when there's something left to live for. Like what? what? You've studied nature your entire life. How could you be so blind? He's exceptional. This is life or death. Best left forgotten. You really know it all, don't you, Darwin? All you know is science, dear boy. You must listen to your heart. She loves you. Mm -hmm.